The Sons of the American Revolution is set to open a world-class education center and museum, one that reintroduces the story of America's founding at the SAR headquarters on Museum Row in Louisville, Kentucky. This state-of-the-art destination has been made possible through years of development and research and the continued support of SAR members, historians, and generous donors. From the Main Street entrance, visitors will step into an inviting welcome and retail area where they'll have a chance to gather and shop and get ready for the incredible story that's about to unfold. A pair of detailed scale models, the Bonham Richard and the Philadelphia Gunboat, help prime visitors for that story, along with artifacts, portraits, and a full-scale replica Liberty Bell. Visitors can also learn about the SAR and how to begin their own journey to membership in the Genealogical Research Library next door. When they're ready to venture in, visitors will purchase their tickets and step through the gallery doors into another time and place in our nation's history. 1763, the end of the French and Indian War. Visitors enter a period of change in North America, when the seeds of conflict would begin to take root in the colonies. An animated migration map illustrates how the British colonies came together, from the first European settlements to the flood of migration more than a century later. The King's Proclamation in 1763 forbids settlement west of the Appalachians. Britain also issues a trickle of new taxes on the colonies, without the consent of the people. Visitors meet two individuals who share their accounts of the fury sparked by the controversial Stamp Act. Many more personal narratives can be found in the museum, drawn from real people who lived through the revolution. As a new wave of laws descends upon the colonies, visitors learn about the written word in safeguarding our rights. The Voice of the People Interactive, built into a replica printing press, lets visitors create their own pro-patriot broadsides using real images of the day. By 1773, the conflict between Britain and the colonies is about to boil over. In Boston, a tea protest gives rise to the Coercive Acts, the king's hope to squash defiant colonists in North America. In the Green Dragon Tavern, visitors can join the Sons of Liberty and plan the Boston Tea Party in secret, then see if their choices win out. These cutting-edge digital experiences will travel beyond the Education Center and Museum. SAR chapters around the country will be able to share the interactive programs with their communities via tablets, computers, and more. By 1774, the colonies have had enough. Visitors see the First Continental Congress take shape and learn about the patriot leaders who will guide the coming revolution. Displayed prominently nearby is the signing page from the Articles of Association, which bears the names of John Adams, George Washington, and Patrick Henry, a crown jewel in the SAR collection. Visitors can even hear Patrick Henry's words if they listen closely. His famous Give Me Liberty speech echoes through the doors of St. John's Episcopal Church. By 1775, war is inevitable. Visitors experience the shot heard round the world and the battles at Lexington and Concord as they cross over a replica of the Old North Bridge. Musket fire rings out as film projections recreate the frenzy and danger of the day-long fighting. This immersive experience leads right into the War for Independence Gallery, where the story of the Revolutionary War comes alive. Personal narratives return in the War for Independence Gallery with incredible stories of courage and patriotism on and off the battlefield. Above, dynamic upper world vignettes recreate key moments of the war through theatrical effects, scale replicas, life cast figures, and artifacts. Visitors learn about the Patriots' quick victory at Ticonderoga and bravery at Bunker Hill and the year-long siege of Boston that expels the British from the city. Visitors learn about the failed invasion of Canada and efforts in Congress to reconcile with Britain under the Olive Branch Petition. Others, however, believe a stronger, more determined approach is needed. Visitors dive headfirst into the Declaration of Independence, from the earliest handwritten draft to its ratification and printing. Visitors will explore the reason for the words, the inspirations and deeper meanings that help forge the landmark document. What follows is a series of perilous defeats for the Continental Army, which teeters on the edge of losing the war. But Washington's gambit at Trenton helps turn the tide. 
Throughout the War for Independence gallery, animated battle maps, created in collaboration with the American Battlefield Trust, will show visitors how each campaign unfolded in the colonies. Visitors will also see replica uniforms and never-before-seen artifacts from the SAR's growing collection. These rare artifacts tell incredible stories, and every one of them will be seen by the public. Items will rotate on a regular basis, giving visitors a fresh experience with every visit. The dawn of 1777 brings two new campaigns by the British to break the American spirit. Philadelphia falls in September, but the Continental Army scores a precious victory at Saratoga. The winter isn't so kind. Visitors learn how Washington's beleaguered army fights through harsh weather and disease at Valley Forge to emerge as a disciplined, well-trained fighting force. And not a moment too soon, as France formally joins the war as America's ally. More artifacts and life cast figures demonstrate all of the many individuals fighting in the revolution, while the Weapons and Uniforms Interactive details all the various weapons and accoutrements used on the battlefield. Visitors can also try their hand at some of the unique methods used by American spies to pass along information in secret. Once again, each of these digital experiences will be made available to SAR chapters and communities around the country. Because the SAR is headquartered in Louisville, the museum will pay special attention to the Western Theater and George Rogers Clark's campaign to secure the region from the British. It'll even feature a scale model of Fort Nelson, which once stood in Louisville where SAR headquarters sits today. It's just one of several highly detailed scale models that will appear in the museum. As they near the end of the gallery, visitors learn about the war's shift to the south, where the fighting turns brutal and bloody. It's 1780, Charleston Falls, the traitor Benedict Arnold captures Richmond, and Tarleton's dragoons cut through American troops at Waxhaws, but the Continental Army rallies at Calpins and Guilford Courthouse the following year. Spain lends a hand with sweeping victories at St. Louis, Mobile, and Pensacola. The stage is set for the decisive confrontation at Yorktown, where the French fleet cuts off Cornwallis's escape as Washington tightens his grip. The surrender comes swiftly. More animated battle maps give visitors a dynamic perspective of every campaign, every engagement in the latter part of the war. And of course, each one will be made available to SAR chapters and communities across the country. The war concludes soon after Yorktown. Delegates from Britain and the United States meet to negotiate terms. After the treaty is signed, George Washington, leader of the victorious army, resigns his commission granted by Congress and heads home. In the years after, America struggles to find its footing under a weak central government, the Articles of Confederation. Change is needed. Visitors explore the words of the U.S. Constitution and the Bill of Rights and learn how they were conceived, debated, and ratified. Finally, visitors step into the final piece of the museum experience, an immersive theater space that uses projections, lighting, and sound to recreate crucial moments in the safeguarding of rights during the American Revolution. From the very first protests in the colonies to the ratification of the Bill of Rights, visitors witness history being made at every turn as the founders fight to secure the very rights we hold true today. Visitors conclude their journey through the American Revolution where they started, in the retail store, where they can take home items from their favorite moments of the experience. The SAR Education Center and Museum is primed and ready to transform the SAR headquarters in Louisville and deliver the awesome story of the American Revolution to every community across the nation.